Welcome to the Basics of Design, a final project for EdTech 597, YouTube for Educators. We will be covering five basic design concepts in this series of videos. Proximity, Alignment, Repetition, Contrast, and Use of Color. This is video five, Use of Color. Use a color wheel to choose colors before starting a project. The color wheel shows relationships of colors that work well together. The color wheel begins with yellow, red, and blue. These are called the primary colors because they are the only colors you cannot create. You can mix blue and yellow to make green, or blue and red to make purple, but there is no way to mix pure yellow, red, or blue from other colors. The primary colors are spaced evenly around the color wheel. Secondary colors are the colors that are created by combining two primary colors. A secondary color appears in the color wheel between the two primary colors used to make it. To fill in the rest of the basic color wheel, there is a creation of tertiary colors by combining the secondary and primary colors. The tertiary colors fit on the wheel between the secondary and the primary colors. Tertiary means threes. It's every third color. The primary, secondary, and tertiary colors make up the basic 12 colors of the color wheel. You can use the wheel to create combinations that work together. Colors directly across from each other on the color wheel are called complements. They are the exact opposites of each other. Some of the combinations look a little strange. If you know how to use the color wheel, you may use these seemingly strange combinations to create interesting presentations. A set of three colors equidistant from each other always creates a triad of pleasing colors. Red, yellow, and blue together is called the primary triad because it uses the primary colors. You can also experiment with the secondary triad of green, orange, and purple. All triads except the primary triad have underlying colors connecting them, which makes them harmonize well. Another form of a triad is the split complement. Choose a color from one side of the wheel, find its complement directly across the wheel, but use the colors on each side of the complement instead of the complement itself. An analogous combination is composed of those colors that are next to each other on the wheel. No matter what two or three you combine, they all share an undertone of the same color, creating a harmonious combination. The basic color wheel shows the pure hue or color. The color wheel can be expanded by adding black or white to the various hues. The pure color is the hue. Add black to a hue to create a shade. Add white to a hue to create a tint. The real color wheel shows shades and tints that can be created. If your software program allows you to create your own colors, just add black to a color to create a shade. To make a tint, use the tint slider the application provides. A monochromatic combination is composed of one hue with any number of its corresponding tints and shades. Black and white photographs are really made using shades of black and varying shades of gray. You can use a monochromatic color scheme to add some interest in an otherwise black and white slide. Tone refers to the particular quality of brightness, deepness, or hue of any color. When the tones are similar on a page, it gets a little muddy looking. The tones of these dark colors are much too close. It makes the text almost unreadable when viewed on a computer screen. The contrast is much better in the second slide. The contrast is a result of differences in tone. Colors tend to be either on the warm side, which means they have some red or yellow in them, or on the cool side, which means they have some blue in them. You can warm up colors by adding more reds or yellows to them. Conversely, you can cool down colors by adding various blues to them. 
Cool colors recede into the background and warm colors come to the front. You can use, and sometimes you have to use, more of a cool color to make an impact or to contrast effectively. It takes very little of a hot color to make an impact. Red and yellow jump right into your eyes. If you're combining hot colors with cool, always use less of the cool color. An excess of red is overwhelming and rather annoying. The second slide here picks up the red from the knees of the astronaut in the photo to use as an accent. So, how do I choose? Sometimes it can seem overwhelming to choose colors. Start with an organized approach. Ask yourself some questions. Is it a seasonal project? If so, you might want to use seasonal colors. Are there official company colors to work with? Are you working with a logo that has specific colors in it? You might want to use the split complement of its colors in those cases. Does your project include a photograph or other image? Pick up on a color in the photograph and choose a range of other colors based on that. You might want analogous colors to keep the project sedate and calm, or complementary colors to add some visual excitement. If you're working on a project that recurs regularly, you might want to make yourself a color palette that you'll consistently use each time. If you're beginning a new project that's composed of a number of different pieces, try choosing your color palette before you begin. It makes the rest of your project a little easier. There are two color models you may be using in your project, CMYK and RGB. CMYK stands for cyan, which is a blue, magenta, which is sort of a red-pink, yellow, and a key color, which is usually black. These four colors can be combined to print many thousands of colors, which is why it's called a four-color process. CMYK colors reflect the colors in a crayon box. CMYK is the color model you'll use for projects that are going to be printed by a printing press onto something physical. RGB stands for red, green, and blue. RGB is what you see on your computer monitor, television, iPhone, and other technologies. In RGB, if you mix red and green, you get yellow. Mix full-strength blue and red, and you get hot pink. That's because RGB is composed of beams of colored light that are not reflected off of any physical object. It is light that goes straight from the monitor into your eyes. If you mix all the colors together, you get white, and if you delete all the colors, you get black. In summary, make color a conscious decision. Sit down before you make a project and decide what color scheme you're going to use. Remember, warm colors come to the front while cool colors fall into the background. Just a couple of tips and tricks to help you in your projects. Use repetition and readability in your projects. Create a focal point and build around it. And don't forget to use something out of each of the five basics of design. In this video series, we have studied the five basic design concepts, proximity, alignment, repetition, contrast, and use of color. Now that we know how to make something plain into something fantastic, go and make your own successful presentations. This has been a 2008 Tigger production.